distinguished ministers government of india sri sri prakash jaiswal acharya dr lokesh muni founder ahim cha vishwarathi sri abhay kumar jain president bhavan mahavir janti reception committee dr J d k jain convener bhavan mahavir janti reception committee sri pradeep jain chairman bhavan mahavir janti reception committee sri shubhas jain oswal senior vice president akhil bharatiya join confidence distinguished members of the audience ladies and gentlemen i am indeed happy to join you for the seminar titled solution of global challenges through mahavir's philosophy being held a few days prior to the mahavir jayanti i take the opportunity to extend my warm greetings to all of you i congratulate ahim sabhi shoharthi for organizing the seminars on a topic of great relevance to contemporary times at a time when the world is faced with multiple challenges and we are seeking ways and means to overcome them the philosophy teachings enunciated by bhagwan mahavir holds great significance this is a time to bring his message and teachings to the forefront of our approach in dealing with today's problems ladies and gentlemen bhagwan mahavir was born as barthaman in a royal family of king siddharth and queen trishala in 599 bc in bihar despite the luxuries at his disposal he preferred to lead a simple life at 30 years of age he left the pleasures of the world and discarded all material comfort to become a monk he meditated for 12 years to have overcome all desires after which he attained self realization and divine knowledge or keval gyanam he spent the next 30 years traveling throughout the country overcoming immense physical hardships to preach the eternal truth because of his simplicity and the spousal of high morals he was able to reach out to many believers his teachings are based on the concept of self realization for the attainment of moksha or liberation he mentioned that man should be known not by his birth but by his action practicing such a principle would further the cause of his just social order and ideal espoused by the builders of the modern societies the world today is unfortunately divided by race religion and nationality it's also a matter by numerous conflicts that originate from such segregation bhagwan mahavir gave the doctrines of anekantavad or multiplicity of the views and said that opposites coexist like while like white and black or rich and poor he asked for the differences and diversities to be reconciled 
through dialogue and practice of social ahimsa in today's context, nothing can be more relevant than this. Ladies and gentlemen, Bhagavan Mahavir's doctrines talks of the multifaceted development. He had said, the English translation, I quote, the nature of the all living beings is to be happy. Everyone wishes to eliminate pain so that he or she can be happy forever, unquote. At a macro level, the happiness of a country or community rests on the pillars of the sustainable development, preservation and promotion of the cultural values, conservation of the natural environment, and est establishment of good governance. These are imperative goals of any democratic polity today and they have great potential for being realized by adhering to the Lord Mohammed's teaching. The three A's, Ahimsa, Anekanta, and Appadigraha of Lord Mohammed's philosophy can provide answers to many modern day problems. I'm delighted to know that under the guidance of Acharya Dr. Lokesh Muni, Ahimsa Vishwabharati is working towards building a society free from violence, terrorism, exploitation, poverty, communalism, caste distinctions, and other social evils. I'm happy to note that for the un his untiring efforts, Acharya ji has been honored by the government with the National Communal Harmony Award 2010. <laughs> I am confident that Ahim Savishwabharati will continue to work towards social progress in the country. I wish the organization all success. I once again wish all my joint brothers and sisters on this auspicious occasion, late Bhagavan Mahavir, bless us. Jai Hind.